Hello! <laughs> I assume by now you've seen the intro that I was planning on doing. And let me tell you, this bike <laughs> is incredible. I've only been on it like a couple of minutes. And I can already tell that I've made a mistake in riding it. Because now I want one. Like a lot. That quick shifter is amazing. I also now want a quick shifter. <laughs> and the bike is just super comfortable. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to focus now and we're going to go to review mode, Michael. <laughs> and we'll get off the bike in a minute. So ergonomically, to start off, this bike is incredibly comfortable. I, I cannot... I'm like now. I'm gonna cut back to this later on in the video when I've been on this for an hour or two, um, and just you know comment on whether it is, stays comfortable. But for now, I think this is the most comfortable form factor type of you know body body try whatever you want to call it. It's the most comfortable I've been. The bars, the seating position, you know how straight up I am. It's just unbelievably comfortable. And I'd say it'd be more comfortable if I had the screen up. In tall person mode and the unfortunate thing about tall person mode on screens is it blocks the camera so we're gonna leave that off for now but ergonomically so far with the buttons I have not had an issue now the only thing is I assume the mode so I'm gonna try to do this I'm assuming the mode is not to be used while riding because you can see there it's just kind of awkward same with heated grips they're not in the best place again like I said on the um, on the Roadmaster, the Indy, or no, it's the uh, Zero DS, like why not here, you know what I mean, use this section here, now I know that's the removal section so maybe they can't, we'll use some quick shifter goodness here. It feels so stable, and the fact that it shifts down as well. It's actually incredible. Um, and also the quick shifter does make it very comfortable. So anyway, right, all the controls very comfortable. Cruise control, which I did go messing with, also very comfy. The only thing is, I haven't really figured actually how to turn it on. You know, all of your systems, really easy hit, your pass light's easy hit, your full beam is the flick, it's very easy hit. <laughs> this bike would take your breath away <laughs> and in a good way it's just incredible ergonomically anyway right my feet are in a very comfortable position and again back to the basis of a tall person review I'm 200 centimeters tall and I weigh around about uh, 120 odd kilos or 265 ish pounds right so there we go now I am comfortable here I will check back in but everything makes it nice, so the, the handlebar guards, you know, my hands are lovely and just protected, which is, is the first time I think I've ever used, you know, these type of hand guards on the road, so it's, it's a nice experience. The seating position is lovely and up straight, it's absolutely 100% comfortable, definitely more comfortable than the Phaser, but this being the first kind of big boy bike that I've had on the channel reviewing, uh, I'm just incredibly impressed by how comfortable it is so i have sat on and rode a couple of big bikes never for you know a long time i mean like you know maybe 10 minutes here and there just around the car park whatever but this is uh it's phenomenal com comfort wise and ergonomically i can't really there's nothing i can say that point out that you know this is wrong and usually i do have something but i'm just I'm perfect, I'm perfectly comfortable. The mirrors, I can look, you know, they work, I can see with them. My legs are in a comfortable position. Both the rear brake and gear shift lever down below, um, extremely comfortable. The clutch and brakes are within easy reach. Now, would I have them slightly closer? I would, but a lot of people seem to like them out there. Personally, I, I prefer a shorter grip. Maybe that's because, you know, my hands are kind of mangled. Who knows? Uh, you can easily two finger the brake. We'll do a little. That's a one finger. You need no more than that. And the rear brake is also nice and uh, a nice smooth operation on it as well. Smooth operator. Do you know what's dodgy about this bike? First complaint ergonomically. It's too comfortable. It just, it does, it does all of the, uh, the hooligan-y stuff. 
too smoothly, you know what I mean? I think on the phaser and the magna, when I do that sort of stuff, you know you're doing it, you know you're doing it a lot. <laughs> because well, with the magna, as whenever you're going fast, it's beating you up. With, with this, it's just, it's just fine. There's nothing, it's gorgeous. And then lastly for ergonomics, I want to move on to the display, which I love. I don't think it's it's as nice as the um, Yamaha R1-esque and Ducati-esque, you know, the, the single fancy lines display. The one on the s 1000 R, the new one, if they put that onto this bike, that's why I see this being better. But ergonomically, I can see everything on it. I've been in bright enough sun so far. Um, it's just it just works so we're gonna go try some find some pretty views to stop at and talk about the aesthetics of this bike because i feel as if it deserves it it deserves to be sat somewhere nice to talk about its prettiness and sneak peek i do like the look of it first and foremost though what we're going to go through is um the power delivery on this bike is this an incredibly powerful bike it is uh, the specs would have been in the intro at the start and i'll put them up there again but well, it's just how manageable it is, you know, what, which I, I didn't really expect it to be as smooth as this. Now, is that a failing on my part? Yes. Should I have expected it to be this smooth? Obviously, it's a brand new BMW. So the power delivery in traffic, so I came through the town there, it's lovely. Low down, it's quite nice. I feel as if it's a bike that wouldn't like to go slowly for very long, however. I will say rain mode makes uh, the power delivery a little bit more linear which is quite nice on this road it basically what it does is it deadens the initial twist of your race so I think on bumpy roads that's definitely a bonus because on bumpy roads if you think about it you're trying to moderate the throttle input and you had a bump and your hand was the twist on dynamic I think that would definitely add to the bumpiness and not in a nice way you can just see how controllable this thing is. Even coming into corners like that. But the power delivery straight line, ah, poo. Power delivery straight line is incredible. That's the power that's in this bike. I barely touched it. My <laughs> God, it's just, yeah, this thing is an animal. That's the only way to describe it. It is an animal. And that pretty much concludes power for a sports touring bike. And now again, I know I'm not a, a member of the 1000cc bike owners club. But my God, would I like to be. <laughs> Jeez, this thing is a beast in a good way like beast from beauty and the beast or beast from the beast and the dark crystal thing on netflix that i'm watching late recently and i've, I've named them the schneeblies um because i can never remember what they're called from power it deserves to come on to the handling which is absolutely gorgeous this bike is so easy to lean um it's it's light that it, it feels light and it's not light that's the key thing here is this bike it's not a light bike it's pretty heavy it's about 240 kilos but anyway um handling wise this bike is is from what i've ridden it's in a class of its own and let me explain why so it's like it's light to the touch it's easy ride right it really is a light flickable massive bike but this bike has a system called asc which stands for the words that are on the screen now and what that does is it regulates the speed differential between the wheels and acts as a stability control but not only a stability control a step uh, uh, traction control as well so it keeps the bike stable it keeps your wheels from spinning too much and it just makes the bike Control phenomenally well this thing is unbelievable now the other stuff about handling I suppose is just the braking on it and we'll get to braking in a second but I don't want to talk about it yet but with 
with handling, you know, it is, it's so flickable. But not only that, when you come up out of corners, you know, you, you can just gun it. And the power regulation to the back wheel It's phenomenal, and now for a brake test. So we just came down from pretty fast to not that fast, and the bike was just controlled, smooth, easy to keep in a straight line. Now, is that because I'm a good rider? I don't think so. Also, yeah, I'm switching gear with this hand off, to, off to the handlebars, which is insane. I don't think it's anything to do with my riding ability. I think this bike, handling-wise, has eliminated you as a, a kind of a threat. I can't tell you how fast I came down from there, because my dad watches this channel and he'd kill me. But what I can tell you is it was utterly controlled, and that, to me, is the more impressive thing. For instance, one of the things I want to change on the Magna the braking system because to my mind it's just not good enough I if something can go fast it should be able to stop faster that that's that's a key tenant to everything I believe in um, I know it's a bit silly maybe but it's also true because if you're in a position where you know you're gonna be going pretty pretty damn fast then you should be able to stop but you can't stop what are you going fast for you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna run into trouble and this, this thing, it gives me the confidence, you know, it tells me it's going to stop. It doesn't make me feel like it won't be able to stop, and that's, that's a good thing. That can only be a good thing. Now, here we are at a place to take some pictures of the bike. But first I want to have a chat. Is that a bike that I could see myself on aesthetically? Yup, I think it's beautiful. So to bring you through a few things, on said bike I know there'll be interest in it well probably it does have the extras like the quick shifter up and down um, and other other such items it doesn't have the sat nav the sat nav mount is there this is for the sat nav didn't say that earlier because there's not one on it some things to point out here wipes because my uncle cares about his bike and he's dead right you have your battery and then you have your hydraulic control system so this is you know, when you're changing between your modes and you're firming up and whatnot, your suspension, all of that comes into play, right? It's just part of it, and I wanted to show you that. I don't know, did you want to see it, but I wanted to show you. Also, that seat came off and back on lovely. That was the first time I tried that, and it worked perfectly. It doesn't usually. So it also comes with the um, the small LED indicators as standard, which is really nice. I like that. Um you know your adjustable windscreen as standard mechanically adjustable mind you led running lights the bark busters or hand guards whatever you want to call them upside down forks 320 millimeter brakes i believe as far as i remember with dual four piston calipers on the front oh those tires are nice and warm and i can't remember the size on the back but it's a single piston your suspension is adjustable with your ride settings uh, as are your front forks Again, ride settings, so you can firm it, whatever else. I think it's a pretty bike. I think it's a good-looking bike. I know some people don't like um, the front end of them. Personally, I do. I do like the front end of them. I don't really know why, but I do. I'm going to stop there. Stop talking there. And we're going to get back on the bike, try si find some places for it. So, aesthetically, the bike is a pass for me. And back to part of the handling, I'm just going to show you. If you're tall, like me, this bike is quite easy to maneuver. Slow speed, just kind of half on the clutch. No problem. I don't know how easy it would be if you're a shorter individual. So the one thing I will say is, uh, I hadn't experienced it earlier, in really slow speed, so like less than 10 kilometers an hour, Let's say six miles an hour, whatever, like walking pace essentially. Um, this bike does need its clutch feathered. It can't, it can't do it. The engine does struggle there, which is okay. It's a big leader engine. I would expect that. Now we're going to talk a bit about practicality and extras on this bike. So 
practical, practically wise. I think this bike is um, as practical as my phaser for in and out to work and commuting and whatnot. Except it's you know it's heavier on fuel, but who cares? Uh, the other thing is you might have seen in the Walker of Aesthetics it has all of the racking for panniers, so panniers top box, which makes it more practical than the phaser in my mind because it's just easier to mount things to and they're easy to get if you're buying a bike like this it's also practical because for instance if you were going to bring it long distance like if I come up home to Kilkenny and I bring either of the bikes to Magna you know I have to screw on the windscreen because I don't like how it looks but it just makes traveling up and down it so much nicer so I do screw it on for um, coming up and down there this bike has it all. I can raise it up if I want the screen up. It has cruise control to save my, my wrists and my hands. Uh, it's a comfortable place to hang on to as well. So practicality wise, I think this is a very practical bike. It's narrow enough to filter, which you don't put on too big um, uh, panniers. You know, it'll filter just fine. And that brings us on to the extras on the bike, in which I think it has all of them. So it has heated grips. It has traction control, stability control, it has your luggage, it has selectable riding modes, so you have rain, road, you also have dynamic, and then dynamic pro which requires a chip, the chip is under the seat but it's not my bike, um, I'm not used to bikes this powerful so I will not be putting it onto the bike today. You can also switch off your ABS. You have all your different trip infos, so you know I have my range, trip 1, trip 2, my average MPG, uh, which is currently sitting at 39, and my kilometers per hour, average kilometers per hour, the kilometers on the bike, etc. Right? It's, it's, everything is there. The other extras on the bike are the quick shifter, which I really, really like. Uh, to be honest, I'm the kind of person that generally doesn't like that type of technological advance I like using my gears but the quick shifter uh, had to have the option of it there is just fantastic because it just works so well nice view time if I could pull in there and get a picture of this bike I would but there's nowhere to do so the other options then obviously are you know you have the mount of the GPS so you can just stick a GPS on there. Don't kill me. Uh, thank you for not killing me, sir. You the man for the GPS. You have USB power supplies. And pretty much it has it has every extra that you could want on a bike of this kind. Obviously it doesn't have you know a radio like the Roadmaster. Um, but I don't think it needs a radio. So practicality, yep, it is a practical bike. It's comfortable as all hell. I've been on it a while now and I'm still incredibly comfortable. No complaints. And the extras and everything that I could possibly ever have on a wish list for a bike are there as well. I'd love to bring this bike on a racetrack, to be honest. If I could have this down around the Healy Pass even or somewhere like that, I would love to have a go off it down there because this thing is just so well balanced and there's the uh, cruise control we got to show you that earlier so there's cruise no hands and I have to say cruise control is nice because again that's just swap arms to have the option to do that it's very nice and then you can just bop that back to the left turn it off this is just, just easy you know especially for someone who has to chat while they're riding it just it just does make it easier and then there's a couple of ways to knock off cruise uh, you can touch the brakes you can obviously keep going faster by twisting the throttle or you can just bump that back to the left like so and that's it that's cruise control off and I'm back in control but you can also bump the brakes uh, and that'll do the same that'll do the same job for you oh something I forgot to mention earlier as well is the indicators are self cancelling it's just, it's so easy to throw around. This is a really, really nice bike. And I, I don't want to give it back. <laughs>
why is it that I make every bike essentially an explorer bike? Like, oh, I'm gonna go up this road. Why, Michael, why have you done this? So we're just heading towards the Sleeve Blue Mountains because I want to do a final thoughts off the bike. It's just so goddamn pretty out here today. Oh, oh I forgot to do the stand test. Oh, yeah. I could stand all day on this bike, this is comfy out. And I, I'm tall, so I, I shouldn't be standing on bikes really, but look at that. More adventurous pegs, and you would be laughing. They're nice and white as is, but they could be even better. Wow, such a beautiful day. This looks like it'll do. So, we're off the bike now, and in really stunning scenery. Final thoughts on this one. Do I like this bike? Oh, hell yeah. Would I buy one? <laughs> 110% this is probably the bike I would buy over anything else I've ridden so far. For me it's got it all, you know, it's good looking. It's also very hot which I can't, is why I can't sit against it right now, but it's, it's comfortable. Okay, so ergonomically super comfortable. Um, the power and torque delivery are amazing and combined with that gearbox, it just, it does everything you could possibly want it to do. Practicality, perfect. You know, you got you got your racks, your boxes. You got a top box. It's relatively fuel efficient. It's comfortable in traffic. It's narrow enough to filter if you're allowed filter in your com in your country. It's plenty of power. You can go two up on it if you need to bring someone with you. It's just all there. Extras again, like I said, everything you could possibly want. Uh, you know, you got your GPS mount if you need it, the built-in controls for the GPS, you know, you have your quick shifter, traction control, stability control, riding modes, just everything. And the mechanically adjustable windscreen. It's, it's really uh, the perfect bike for me. Uh, because it's a sports touring bike, like I like, I like adventure bikes, I do, but I think I prefer something with an engine like that. You know, it still has that four cylinder, Screamer, um, uh, you know the S1000 RR obviously is a is a dream bike. I think you're probably not really into bikes uh, if you don't aspire to one of those, even for like a month to own one. But yeah, I definitely am one of those people who'd like one. It's lovely and sunny. And then lastly, aesthetically, I know this is going to be a bone of contention. Um, well and handling but handling came as part of the rest of it handling is phenomenal but aesthetically i like this bike i know everyone won't i know it is possibly a bit of a marmite bike uh, but i like it for me even just you know the lines of the bike they're just really nice like i said it looks it looks kind of like hunched up you know like it's it's ready to go all the time it's like it's like a, it's a it's a powerfully it's a powerful looking bike which makes sense because it is a very powerful bike you know, I personally know it is dirty because I've been out all day in it. It is possibly an acquired taste on the front, but I do like it. I've acquired that taste. And again, you know, the gauges for me and the bars and just everything. It's just, it's just a nice bike. Um, even, you know, the little finishing touches right down here. BMW have done a great job on this. Um, and obviously because of... A you know, family member owns this bike. I'm, I'm not getting anything to say this, uh, except possibly not killed by him. But you know, I just I really like everything they've done on it. So maybe it's the triple black I like. I'm not sure. But for me, it's a it's a gorgeous bike. So if you watched, thanks very much for watching. If you've liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll have plenty more stuff coming. Hopefully more bike reviews. I really enjoy doing them. If this is a bike you're interested in, why not share the video, you know, spread it around. If you're tall, I recommend this 100%.
if this was a bike you were considering buying and you were nervous about the power whatever don't be it's lovely and controllable is the power there yeah but like you have this for a reason you don't need to use it all all the time and with the, the actual riding settings it's easy not to nothing else really to say on it it's just a good bike so yeah buy it so until next time thanks again for watching Adiós.